In this video, we're going to talk about merging projects. The merge feature allows you to synchronize the work of multiple team members or your own work performed on different computers. QDA Miner offers a number of functions designed to facilitate teamwork. Different user accounts can be created and a project can be duplicated to allow for more than one person to code a single project. Once coding is complete, the projects can be merged together and analyzed. This is done by choosing a master project that will receive the data from an external project or projects. Four types of imports will occur during the merging procedure. QDA Miner will attempt to match cases, documents, and images, and to import for common documents and images any code assignments that are not already in the master project. If necessary, QDA Miner will also import the codebook from the external file and merge its codes and categories into the existing codebook. If the program cannot match cases in the imported project to existing ones in the main project, it can optionally append those cases along with their associated documents and codings. If the imported project contains unique variables, the program will allow you to append these variables to the existing master project. I'm currently working in a master project called Candidates Master. The merge command can be found under Teamwork in the project menu. Select the project from which to import codes, coding, cases, and variables. The project that I want to import from is called Candidates Amanda. A merge dialog box appears. In order to merge codings made to duplicate documents stored in different project files, QDA Miner needs to decide whether two documents are the same. To do this, it compares the first 200 alphanumeric characters in each document, ignoring spacing, punctuation, and formatting. While it's unlikely that two documents will start exactly the same way, to prevent such a situation from occurring, you can also select other variables that it will need to match in both project files. We'll select city, just to be sure. If two records in the master project share the same values on selected variables, QDA Miner will display an error message stating that the master project contains duplicate entries. If the selected key variables are unique to each case, then the program will move on to the next page, just like what's happened here. The second page of the dialog box previews the predicted outcome of the merging operation and specifies what should be imported. Up to five options will be available. Import coding. If QDA Miner finds codings that do not exist in the master project, it will offer the option to import those codings. Note that this option only applies to documents contained in both project files. Any new documents imported by the addition of a new case or new variables will always be merged into the current project along with its associated codings. We have 27 new codings and 36 existing codings. Let's import our coding. Import unmatched cases. QDA Miner will report the number of cases in the second project for which no match has been found. Select this option to append those cases to the end of the current project. We have no new cases, just the 12 existing cases, so this option's grayed out. Import selected variables. If some variables are unique to the imported project file, it's possible to integrate them into the main project by enabling this option and selecting the variable from the list below. So we have a new variable of party that we'd like to add. Log entries stored in the command log may be appended to the current log file. And import report manager items. Quotes, tables, and charts added to the report manager can be appended to the master project. Modified versions of items already in the project will not be imported. So we don't have any new report manager entries, so the options grayed out. Merging projects into a master file may result in several important changes that can be very difficult to reverse. Therefore, it's highly recommended to either merge using a copy of the original project file as the master, or to create a backup of your original project before merging any data into it. Let's create a backup. Select Merge. We'll save the backup onto our desktop. And our merge results are one new variable has been added, 25 new coded segments, 
and two unmatched coded segments. When QDA Miner imports codings, it attempts to match the original text and location of a coding in the imported project to a segment of the master document that points to the exact same text and the same or nearby position. If it doesn't find the proper location, it's usually because one of the two documents has been modified. After importing codings, a dialog box appears with a list of all codings added to the existing document, as well as a list of codings that could not be assigned to the documents in the master project because QDA Miner was unable to locate the matching text segments. Again, this is usually because the document was changed. Selecting an item in this table displays the corresponding case and document in the main window and will select a portion of the document text located near the code. To manually adjust the location of the unmatched code, select this button. Now we can resize the segment. Once the selection has been adjusted to as close as possible, click the Apply button to assign the code to the new selection. If you ignore the Coding Not Found tab, the coding on this list will simply be omitted from the master project. If the Coding Not Found list is extensive, you may want to go back to the project and reassess the changes that were made to it. There are a few things that you can do to avoid the issue of unmatched codes. It's recommended that you create different user accounts for all the team members prior to duplicating the project. At this point, you can choose the user settings. If you remove the possibility for team members to modify documents and the codebook, you can avoid having unmatched codes. And that brings us to the end of merging projects. Please be sure to watch the other teamwork-related videos on duplicating projects and making user accounts.